Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to put a quick review up for a movie I checked out last night called Searching. Um, this came out the month of Halloween, or, yeah, the month Halloween came out. Well, I think it was the same weekend, maybe, or the weekend before. So it was one I missed, and I, I definitely wanted to check out. I had heard decent things about it, and um, uh, it's done in a format kind of like a, un or exactly like Unfriended and Friend Request, where the whole thing's in the den, too where the whole thing is on the uh, on a computer screen that you're looking at, and uh, there's some news footage in it too. But um, essentially, it's about this guy here, John, John Cho from Harold and Kumar, everybody knows him from. He uh, His wife passed away, and all he has is his daughter, and it kind of builds it up. You see like old videos he has saved on his computer and stuff. And uh, he really cares about his daughter and everything. And the daughter's kind of like a really goody-good type straight-A student, you know, excels and everything, like a genius at piano and all that. And uh, she ends up going missing, and uh, he can't get a hold of her. So he puts out a, a, a police uh, investigation on it and all that. So that's the whole movie. It's this big uh, investigation. You see him kind of finding out all these different things by talking to all her friends on her Facebook and her Tumblr and all that. And then, you know, you it adds a, it has all these little theories or whatever and it goes down all these different little plot things because he's trying to figure out what his daughter was into who she was associated with and he finds some uh, pretty crazy stuff out and some stuff you wouldn't really uh, expect or anything like that and uh, you know that's the general plot there's a lot of twists and turns in it uh, the plot a lot of times you think it's ending at this and then it ends up being something else so I really appreciate that aspect of it um, and I, overall, I really dug the movie. I thought it was really entertaining. It had me engaged throughout the whole thing. Um, and if I was going to pick a movie of this status, The Den would be first. I love The Den. But I would pick this over Unfriended or Friend Request any day. Um, I thought John Cho's performance really made the movie. I thought he gave a really emotional performance. I really believed him as the dad. There was a couple times I actually teared up for him. Um, I thought all the acting was really good. Deborah Messing plays the, uh, the the police woman investigating the case and all that. She gives a really believable performance. For the daughter, from what you see, a believable believable performance, but John Cho's uh, performance is really what stands out to me on this. Um, and like I said, I just thought it was a really done, well done movie. I don't want to say anything more about it, just because I don't want to give anything away. This is a movie you're better off just watching, not knowing any little minor plot points or anything, because that's what really makes the movie. Um, and as far as the Blu-ray, it looks stunning. I mean, I just got 4K TV, so... This looked really good on it, you know, really bright and everything. Um, and it was just a really awesome movie. I highly recommend it if you're looking for something a little different. It's not necessarily horror, but it's a it's a thriller. It's definitely an edge-of-your-seat thriller. Um, just the plot twist this thing takes is what makes this movie also. So I recommend it solely on John Cho's performance and uh, the twists at the end and everything. And... Uh, there's some really cool special features on this. This actually has a director's commentary, which a lot of new movies don't have commentaries. I don't know why, but I really respect this for actually having a commentary. Um, you know, there's a couple little other features, but the main thing that's really badass about this is when you go to the special features, you don't see it. Like if you were to just hit the special features, it doesn't show up. But if you watch the movie and then watch through all the credits, there's like a hidden chapter. Like it doesn't even show up on the timestamp of the movie. But once the movie's over, um, it'll kick into this like extra chapter. It's like a 10 minute little thing. And it's the director and the people making it talking about all the Easter eggs they put into this movie. And then they kind of go back and show you exactly what these Easter eggs were. And it pretty much, it gives the twist endings away. Like if you were to pay close, close attention to everything in the background, um, you would it would give the twists away in the beginning. But it's a guarantee you'll never notice it. I guarantee it. Um, I was telling my buddy that too. I was like, you know, watch the spoiler thing after, or the Easter egg thing after, obviously, because... It'll be really badass to see like what you missed when you go back. Like there's so many little plot points that are going on in the background of this movie that you don't even pick up on. I guarantee you, no one else picked up on it. Um, if they told you that, I guarantee you they're lying. Um, 
it, it's just a crazy movie. And then it, it, it gives you all these little plot points that make you want to go back and watch the movie. So this is definitely worth getting on physical media just for that segment alone. Because if you weren't, if you didn't watch this little Easter egg segment, uh, you wouldn't get the full effect of it. Because now there's so many different things that are going on in this that I'm just like, holy shit. And it's a lot more intense than it it's pre presents itself to be. And I really like the fact that it's a, it's a special feature about Easter eggs. And the special feature in itself is an Easter egg. By You have to like wait till the credits are done and then this chapter kicks in. So I thought that was really clever and I give them props to doing that for physical media. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's searching. Definitely pick it up. Anyways, guys, peace.